Salvage, also known as Fred Trap, is a character that was introduced into Five Nights at Freddy's 3 through one of Scott Cawthon's teasers. Now, most of you guys that are new to the franchise might not know about this character, but he was very popular when Five Nights at Freddy's 3 was announced. Now, you guys might be asking, I've never heard of this character, or you might not know about him. But, well, yeah, that's because Fred Trapper, also known as Salvage, doesn't exist. Was that a funny meme? <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's get into it. Now, let me back up a second. On screen right now is a FNAF 3 teaser, and I'm pretty sure it's one of the first. Now, in this teaser, it's very noticeable that, well, Springtrap is in it. The teaser says, I am still here, with Springtrap next to it. But, well, something looks off, doesn't it? Do you notice it? Well, if you don't, I can't really blame you, but this doesn't really look like Springtrap. Now, Scott was known for changing things up in his teasers. As you can see in this FNAF 2 teaser, here is Foxy and Mangle, but Foxy is the FNAF 1 version of Foxy, and Mangle doesn't look all destroyed or anything. Sometimes, Scott uses placeholders of older assets instead of the new ones because he may not have them finished or all polished or done yet. And that seems to be the case with this teaser because this doesn't really look like Springtrap. It doesn't look as rounded or just anything like that. And this is where the myth of Salvage came in. Now before it was introduced to us that Springtrap was the main antagonist for Final Fantasy Freddy's 3, people started to speculate who this animatronic could be. And well, a couple of the theories were that this was Salvage. But this was one of FNAF's most popular animatronics that never existed. So in this video, we're just going to be going over what Salvage is, how he came to be, and a couple of theories, and just basically overall interest and information about this character. But before we do that, we're going to go over today's sponsor. But I'll make this sponsorship really quick because I know you guys want to know what the animatronic is, but today's sponsor is actually Factor. And with this being my first sponsorship, it's a big honor for them to be sponsoring me. Now Factor is basically where you get your meals delivered to your doorstep. You get fresh, ready-made meals delivered to your doorstep whenever you sign up with Factor. There's no meal prep, no dishes, no unhealthy fast food, or anything like that, Factor offers the most convenient way to eat well while eating right. There's a ton of plans that you guys can look over on their website, but it's very convenient. There's no prep or no mess. And for someone that goes to the gym, there's actually a meal plan when you sign up for the most protein-based meals. So with it being convenient and coming straight to my doorstep, it helps me out a lot. And the best part about it is the food's good. So if you guys are really interested, you can use my link in my bio or right here on screen to go to go.factor75.com and use this code on screen for 50% off. Now that might not seem like a lot, but it is a lot and it's worth your time 100%. So what are you waiting for? You can get 50% off of your first factor meal now if you use this code and it's 100% worth your time. It's better than any other fast food restaurant or just place in general and it is really good. But let's get back into the video and one last thanks to Factor for sponsoring this video. Now if you enjoy Finance of Friday's content, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this. Now without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now there's actually a couple interpretations of the character Salvage and we're gonna go over some of those. Now the most popular version of this hoax is the original Fred Trap design. Now, it's basically just a reiteration of Fredbear, but it just being withered and having Afton in the suit. So it's literally just Springtrap, except just with a different suit, which is Fredbear. Or kind of an older model Freddy Fazbear, but preferably Fredbear model. And well, when you mirror the teaser image, it does kind of look like that, but it's really too hard to tell. Now, the second iteration of Salvage is, well, this picture on screen right here. This is some fan art for the character, and basically what this fan art shows is everything that was in the box put together. So a big theory for Salvage, or Fred Trap, or just the entire Finance of Freddy's 3 game premise, was that the animatronic would come into your office, and he would just be a basic endoskeleton that was stuffed, and he would come into your office while you aren't looking, and he would steal a piece from the box. And after he stole all the pieces from your box when you weren't looking, that's when he would jump scare you and attack you. So the main premise was theorized that you would have to keep an eye on the box, and keep your eyes on where the endoskeleton skeleton that is stuffed is at. Which is a pretty cool theory, but we all know that isn't true. And that's what this fan art shows. It shows him after stealing all of the animatronic parts and what he would look like after he's finished. Which is a very cool concept, but I think the Fred Trap design is better. I really wish Scott would've used this design instead of Burn Trap or Scrap Trap. It's a little bit more creepy and it looks very scary. But now we're gonna get into some of the crazy theories about this character that you guys probably don't know about. Now this is probably one of the more crazier theories about this character, but maybe it's not. I don't really know. Now instead of people theorizing Theorizing that this was Freddy or a Fred Trap or anything like that, people actually thought this was Foxy. Now, yeah, that doesn't really make sense, but if you look at the image without mirroring it or anything, some people speculated that this was a withered or destroyed version of Foxy with a dead person in it. Or basically just a stuffed version of a withered Foxy. And this sparked a bunch of debate online. Unfortunately, I can't find any of the forums that had these debates, but a bunch of fans were complaining to each other that there is no way that could even happen. Fox Trap is real. 
Earn my have proof. Shut the fuck up and take the beat down of 87 noob. Or that it resembles nothing of Foxy. Some people also thought that this was a different version of Bonnie, which I mean, it kind of is. It's basically a spring Bonnie suit, but some people thought that this was just a normal withered version with a face or just, you know, something of the sorts like that, which is a little bit more believable since, you know, Bonnie kind of has the same facial structure compared to Foxy. Now, who knows what the case was with this teaser? Now, Scott has done changes before in the past with other teasers, as I mentioned earlier with the FNAF 2 teaser. But with all these theories coming out pretty early, Early during the FNAF 3 life cycle, or not even during it, way before it, maybe this could have influenced Scott to make some new terrifying animatronic, which would eventually lead out to be Springtrap. Now, as I said, these are all just some crazy theories that definitely aren't true because, well, we are way further into the game cycle than FNAF 3, but they're just really weird and kind of crazy to think about. Like, these theories could have really made Scott change up his design and mechanics for FNAF 3 because it does look very different. But without further ado, we're at where we're at now. We have Springtrap, and it's it's all been debunked. Now for some of the OG fans out there that experienced this hoax and knew about it when the game was coming out, what do you guys think about these theories and what did your guys' initial reactions turn out to be? Were you guys kind of along board with these theories or did you guys think that these were kind of stupid? Now I mean it doesn't really matter what we think now, as I said we already know who the animatronic is, but back then things were very different I guess. We didn't know much about who the next animatronic was going to be and it was all up in the air for speculation. Now if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to subscribe if you like Five Nights at Freddy's content. And and comment down below if you want me to cover more FNAF hoaxes. FNAF 2 had a bunch of hoaxes and I wouldn't mind covering all of those in a video as well. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments.